So I got some blocks here, they got some attributes, but I'm not really happy with the, the text and the one that says mowing here. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to tweak it separately from the other one. I've also noticed that if I come in here and I insert another toilet block, what happens here is that notice that everything's prompting me command line wise. So it's asking me for that value. You know, do I have anything else to say? You know, nope. You know, um, you know, next line done. What's the capacity? You know, it's American Standard, drops it in. Why is that? Because there's a system variable called ATTDIA, which stands for attribute dialog box. And in most cases, this will be set to one, but obviously there's times where this variable might get set differently and you don't know what's going on. So now when I do a drop in this block, notice that I get the edit attribute dialog box. Okay, so it's ATTDIA to set that. Now to modify the properties within the block, what you can do is you can actually do a double click and a double click will start up the attribute editor. I can also come to the drop down here. So I'm just going to insert tab and notice I can do a, a um, sorry, single modify and notice it also brings me into that enhanced block or attribute editor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this one. I'm going to double click on it and notice that it says enhanced attribute editor. So more than just changing values. So I could change this to two liters and notice that it has updated it. Notice that I can actually come over to the text options here and say, well, you know, I'm on this capacity. This height here really should have been two and I wanted to make it a bit skinnier and I wanted to apply an oblique angle of 10 degrees. So notice that from the text options here, I'm actually able to go and make some changes. Well, if I continue on, notice I'm still on the, the tag capacity, right? Because it's actually picked here. I go to my properties and I say, well, you know what? It really should be yellow to make it kind of stand out a little bit. So I'm going to click OK and notice that it's updated. Well, now let's come into this one. I'm just going to double click and notice that where I double clicked sets which attribute is active. So if I double click here, notice that the manufacturer is active. If I double click here, whoops, missed it. If I double click there, notice the capacity is active. So a little shortcut there to go in there and modify that. So I'm gonna take this one here and what I'm gonna do is again, so, so you can see that the capacity is updated. Actually, let's do manufacturer, let's go text options. What I'd like to do is flip this to annotative. I'd like it to be, um, you know, maybe I'd like this to be left justified instead. Um, I'd like the width factor to be 1.1. And I'm going to go to the properties here and I'm going to set the color to red and I'm going to click OK to update that. So with the enhanced block editor, um, you can go in there and you can um, make those changes. Now I've realized that I actually made a mistake when I um, defined this, this block because notice that if I double click on here, I can actually see that there's a um, last saved property here. It's actually tied to field. What I prefer if that was actually visible um, in all these. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a um, manage attribute, which is kind of my favorite command in AutoCAD. Why? Because the name is Batman. Okay, I know it's got two T's and it's not necessarily like the Dark Knight Batman, but it's still Batman, so it's still cool. So um, you know, give that one to me. So I'm going to type Batman because I love Batman. And I can see now that I can pick which toilet I want to work with. So my toilet um, is the one I want to work with. And what I want to do is I want to take this last save by here because it's, it's first off, it's not in the, in the right position. I want it to be the last property or attribute instead of the first property. So that's fine. Um, also notice before I get too far here, notice that it's, it's, it's three there. There's three um, blocks in this drawing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit. Now the difference here is I'm now modifying it for the entire drawing. So every instance where it is. So I don't want it to be invisible. Um, and I'm, I'm happy with, with the rest of it, right? So I'm happy with the tag. You know, maybe it would be um, you know, better if it had a question mark in the prompt. So I can actually modify that. I'm also gonna take the text options here and I'm actually gonna make this um, top right justified instead. And I'm gonna make it a bit smaller in size and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, so I've made my changes and notice that it's updating every block instance in this drawing. Now I know what you're saying. What happens if I go in there and insert another one? So what happens if I come in here? Notice that last save bias at the end, but notice that it's in the same position as the other ones. So when you use Batman, you're actually modifying the block definition, which will in turn update all the block instances or any new block instances that you insert into your drawing. So a recap, 
What we can do here is we can double click to go into the enhanced attribute editor. You're modifying the attributes for that particular block instance and just that one. Whereas if I use the manage attributes or the Batman, what I'm doing is actually modifying it. I'm actually modifying the definition. Now there is one other way that you can modify the properties of the attributes. If you go into the properties, what you will find at the bottom is the attributes, but all you can change here is you can change the value. Can't change anything else about the properties, but you can come in here and you can make your changes um, to the values. So it's just the right click properties, sorry, it's off the screen there, right click properties um, to go in there. I can also do right click edit attributes to go into the enhance block editor. So just like everything in AutoCAD, uh, more ways to get there. So it's just a couple options for modifying the attributes, not just um, you know the text that they contain, but also some of their properties.